Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly for pricing, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a watch launched in 2013. This, in rose gold and built in 33 pieces, is the Grubel Forcey, Tourbillon 24 Second, or we should say Vault Cat Second, Contemporain. It is the contemporary version of the Tourbillon 24 Seconds. Uh, the platinum version of this launched in 2012, this model with a blue titanium dial and the 43 millimeter red gold case, that launched in 2013. It is a spectacular watch. 43.5 millimeters in diameter, it is 15.4 millimeters thick by 52.3 millimeters lug to lug with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Let's throw it on my wrist, which you know, by this point, is 16 centimeters circumference. It's a big watch. It won't fit underneath the cuff, and you can see that well here, though you might be able to fit it underneath a jacket. The timepiece is reasonably constrained across the wrist, where its best asset ergonomically is the fact that those lugs do curve down rather dramatically. So they wrap around your wrist, as you can see, rather than flaring out. You can tell that from overhead, where you can see the lugs vanish off to the side rather than striking out straight. It's a very good looking watch, a handsome watch, but a substantial and bold aesthetic. Uh, this is no shrinking violet. This is a watch for those who want to make a statement and have no qualms about doing so in the most brash and visible way possible. It's also an absolutely uncompromised act of horological execution. We'll talk about that in a moment. The strap is as substantial as the watch. You can see it is thickly bolstered. It's made of navy blue, large rectangular scale alligator leather in high gloss with a monotone stitch and a folded edge. You can see the Grupal Forcey drills the lugs close to the case and then to prevent any impediment to the motion of the strap, they use curved spring bars. This, as you'll note, is a Grupal Forcey factory strap in outstanding condition. It's in very good shape, has a lot of life left to it, and includes a full deployant clasp. This is a double deployant clasp. Note the combination of polish and media blasting. You can see media blasting internally, but also in the hollows of the flanks of the buckle. So this is your insurance against accidentally dropping the watch when you're putting it on or taking it off at bedside. And as you can see, even the buckle at Grubel 4C is a no-compromise, non-default design. That was thoughtfully styled, likely by Robert Grubel himself, who handles the style of the watches, while Stephen Forsey handles the technology and engineering. Now, the lugs are probably my favorite part of a Grubel 4C and the most underrated aspect because they're anything but flat. They have a wonderful concave contouring, and they're truly organic. Everything about this watch is slightly brutal, except for the lugs, which have a wonderful dynamic, almost organic grace to them. Now, Grubel 4C wants you to know everything about its philosophy of watchmaking, and they want to teach you some French. So if you were to translate what you see on the case, it would say everything from know-how to beautiful fabrication to invention to uh, willingness to keep the time in exceptional form and express creativity while doing so in an alchemy of horological, artistic, and engineering know-how. Uh, all of that bien facture, that's to make things nicely, that's basically what you're getting. Our creations are unique and spectacular, and I don't disagree. One might think that billboarding is a bit bombastic until you get to the dial and you realize it is quite literally everything they say it is. Now, this is the contemporary for a couple of reasons. It takes the previously existing 24-second tourbillon, which you probably guessed makes one circuit every 24 seconds, and it adds a remarkable, almost ultramarine metallic blue titanium dial. So everything here that's blue is titanium that has been transitioned to blue using a proprietary process at Grubel 4 -Z. You also get an annular ring of sapphire that serves as the mounting point for the rose gold indices of the hours and 12. And by the way, all that is loomed. If you look carefully, you can also see, I'm going to get as close as I can, that this is not a flying tourbillon. Part of that sapphire fabrication, there's a second layer underneath it, and that second layer beneath acts as the upper bridge for the tourbillon carriage. Because this is a 24-second tourbillon, it makes more than two circuits in the time a standard one-minute tourbillon makes one. So this is a very dynamic and animated watch dial. You'll note that the tourbillon carriage is entirely hand-finished. 
in a combination of satin and black polish, and you can see the mirrored metal simply glinting and exploding as it pirouettes. You'll also note that the tourbillon carriage tilts the balance at 25 degrees. So it's a 24 second tourbillon, but a 25 degree incline. And this is designed to move the balance through more potential orientations with respect to gravity in order to better even out the effects of gravity on timing. You'll also note if you read watchmaking texts that the calculated average angle of a balance on the wrist throughout the day is 25 degrees, so that angle has been chosen specifically to cancel out the most common angle of incline statistically recorded that a watch will experience on the wrist. Now, it's also free sprung and adjusted in six positions. That means with the free sprung architecture, it's actually fairly tough and easy to adjust precisely. And then you can see a handmade overcoil hairspring was chosen to center the mass of the hairspring and enable concentric breathing in any position with respect to gravity. You can see there is an enormous bridge, uh, a tripod, as it were, that bears the hands at center. And then there's a power reserve scale for the 72-hour twin mainspring barrel manual wind power reserve. There's also a conventional constant seconds display adjacent to the tourbillon, since the tourbillon will not act as your seconds hand. And we're going to turn everything over here and enjoy the reverse side of the case. Well, everything that is deep blue is titanium. What you're looking at here is actually called Maishok. It is the same thing we call German silver on Alanga. It's nickel, copper, and zinc. Only here, you can see it's been exquisitely frosted, and I believe this is done with a wire brush rather than the age-old acid etching technique. So we're going to use environmentally friendly wire brush rustication to create this rough surface. You'll also note that the jewels, the pivot jewels, sit in golden chiton, just as they would have in the pocket watch era. And that material, my show, is exactly what would have been used in the pocket watch era, and that's why you find it here. You can see there are remarkably broad bevels, and I mean a mile wide. Grubel Forsey, along with the likes of Romain Gautier, Fernand Berthoud, Long und Heine, Philippe Dufour, Kerry Voudelain, and these are the finest finishers in the world as brands. You will not find broader bevels or more brightly mirrored bevels, nor will you find more sharp interior angles where bevels meet than you will at those brands. And Grubel Forsey has long been regarded as, if not the absolute best finish available, then co-equally number one. You'll also note attention to places you normally don't see details lavished on conventional high horology watches. Take a look at the wheels. You can see their interior circumference as well as their spokes have been beveled to the same degrees as the bridges themselves and that they too feature those sharp interior angles, which I can tell you executing inside the confines of a small mechanical part is much harder even than laying down on a bridge. And as you can see, individually numbered number 7 to 33, it's double numbered once on the case, once on the movement, because the movement is the beating heart of every Grubel 4C watch. 30 meters water resistance, so okay, you're not going to take it swimming, but then again, you've got the new Balancier S titanium sports watch for exactly that. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com to own the ultimate in avant-garde horology and fine finish. And we're back with Grubel 4C, fully loomed.